Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. Subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Yeah, that was Karak's feeling very proud of himself. Uh, Alright, so there's the Mobius core facilities. They're destroyed. Thanks to Karak's heroic intervention in the last episode, the Templar's Charge. We've got Alarak here. He has something to say. Oh, such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh. It's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. True story, that. Um... War Council? Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Oh, really? So the Dominion... Wait, the Dominion. But isn't the Dominion dismantled? Uh, don't know. Rohana. I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us manipulated our essence but we grew beyond his control he and his followers fled to Zaris to create the zerg the hybrid by the culmination of his efforts false Selmaga created in his image they we must Rohana this is too dangerous you cannot go on like this I must Hyrock it is my duty to know the truth to bear it I know now. This is my purpose. Alrighty, whatever you say, Ro. Uh, let's go to the assembly panel. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. They await your preference. Alright, we got carriers. Carrier has arrived. Oh, they got repair drones. Two repair drones automatically heal friendly mechanical you Wow, man, that's really cool. So I can make a mech army and they can heal. So it's a medevac and carrier at the same time. Cool. Then we get the Tempest. The one we all love and know. They have 500 damage over 20 seconds to target enemy unit or structure. It's disintegration. I am going to go for the carriers however because that bonus is incredibly good. Carrier, has carrier indeed. And we got one more unit type to unlock. Probably the Colossus kind of stage. Wait, another assignment is available? The legendary Arbiter vessels have been reconstructed due to our great need. They can be deployed at your discretion. Oh, we got Arbiters. We feel your presence. Folks nearby friendly units, places enemy units into stasis, teleports friendly units to its location. That's nice and all, but... Destruction is at hand. 
I'll keep going with the destroyer. Is that epic? Lost after the fall of Aya, the technology for Arbiter construction still exists aboard the Spear of a Dune. The ability to cloak and recall our forces while placing the enemy in stasis of available addition to our fleet. There we go. Okay. That's cool and all, but I prefer destroy things that destroy things. Solar Core. Phoenix, let's talk. The glory of victory is yours, Hierarch. I would call it vengeance, Phoenix. Vengeance demanded by the blood of warriors. And yet you have delivered a powerful blow to Iman. You truly have come far from the executor I saw encoded in my memories. It is a role I never intended to fill, old friend. It is one I have grown into. You bear the burden of leadership more capably than you let yourself believe. It is an honor to fight at your side. That's nice, Phoenix. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Yeah, Carrick feels so heroic right now. Solar Core. Let's get those Solarites in there. Uh, oh, we got Purifier Beam now. Purifier Dune fires a controllable beam at the surface that deals 750 damage. Uh, double damage against armored. It's gonna mean it stretches over 15 seconds. And it automatically targets if it's not manually controlled. That's pretty cool. It's like Artanis's uh, ultimate in Heroes of the Storm. Mm. I don't like the deploy Phoenix one, so I'm gonna go for shield overcharge. I'm gonna leave the purify beam on. Guardian shell flowing units become more of five seconds when taking fatal damage. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to save that and put shield recharge. And warp in reinforcements. It's actually really cool because warp in reinforcements, it's actually the same energy cost and same cooldown as deploy pylon. But you get to warp in additional army units at the same time. So there's really no need to actually keep deploy pylon because strictly it's strictly better warp in reinforcements. Although you have to pay fifty solarite for it, but I'm swimming in solarite right now. Good! I like these choices. Let's go to the bridge. And let's get ready to get out of here. Ribbon Scar has fallen, and through its death, the Templar have been born anew. But if we are to face Amon, we still need an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time they will not fail us. Yeah, so we're gonna get the Colossus now. Let's go and wake up some purifiers. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. 
It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! The Purifier Stasis Grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Amon's brood, indeed. Alright, any new conversations? We do. We do have. The Golden Armada has devastated the Scepter Artemis. Okay, shut up. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lentinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. I'm also willing to take the risk. Alright. Our Hierarch has arrived. Yeah, I think you can see that, Phoenix. I'll talk with you later. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. Okay, Phoenix. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be, now things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. Uh, okay, really cool there. Bridge. Mission available. on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cybros. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Okay, so we have to seal all caves with rocks in the unsealing the pass mission. Less than 40 seconds after Zerg begin to emerge from them. Don't know if that would be hard or not. And then we get the Brood War, the soil Zerg structures and then sealing the pass mission in normal difficulty. And there's the church again, tolling its bell. Always when I'm recording, man. <laughs> Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. 
The Megalith? I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. All right. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. They should fare pretty well against Zerglings. Yeah, these Colossus do not have the uh, damage reduction from the multiplier. So they're pretty healthy and good. Nice. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. There we go. Yeah. Destroying everything in my path. Uh oh. Take down the uh, Nidus Worm. And this is where we're going to establish our base. Well done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the Megalith. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. Yay, base. Make some probies. The Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. All right, not bad. We're gonna make lots of colossus actually, and energize as well to increase speed and shit. There we go. Not bad. So we have to escort megalith to stasis locks. The megalith is still in here. I suppose it'll come out when it's ready. So I'm gonna take this time to prepare my base. And. We already see some Zerg creep here, so we know that there's a Zerg base there. Or at least some structures of Zerg. So we're gonna have to get ready for that. There we go. Let's get an Adept as well, because they're pretty good against light units. And Zerglings. So I'm gonna get just a couple of Adepts. The Megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. Couple of energizers to, you know, get my force buffed up. And then I'll just go with sentinels all the way. To tank roaches or whatever they throw at me. Okay, here comes the megalith. Looks looks really cool actually. The megalith is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Guide my blade. Okay, there's some stuff that I can pick up here with the Colossus. Very nice. Let's warp in. has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. All right, the megalith must survive, so we're going to protect it. Meanwhile, I'll just keep building probes, probies. I'm going to actually make a pile on here, just to put some photon cannons and warping units. Would be very useful. Put two actually, because I also need the extra supply. Oh, we can actually we got some we got some new pickups here for the Colossus. Warriors, 
Ensure not reach our nexus point. Yes, do not worry. Uh oh, best being gas. Do we have a forge? No, we do not. Without forge, we can't make cannon, so I'm gonna need that. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Wow, the energizer. I just love how the energizer moves my stuff around. Get some more sentinels. The megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Shield battery would be actually pretty good to get as well. And we're gonna go for Stargate. Stargate for those cool units that we can get. Alright. Some photon cannons to protect our base. Yeah, we do. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. Let your will be heard. Not bad. Okay, let's fight in. Fight for your lives, Sentinels! <laughs> it's funny how the Adepts in single player, they can actually shoot air units. Just for the misinformed, in multiplayer they cannot. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Wait, I can actually do a warp reinforcements thing. Interesting. Yeah. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. So we already got the bonus objective of solarite. Power core housing. Okay, the base is fully saturated. Uh, we're gonna get this and we're gonna make some destroyers. That will help us. And that's pretty much it what I'm gonna do right now. Just a few defenses here and there. Another energizer to keep those buffs coming up, sentinels. I'm gonna keep inside the range of our pylon because that will... Uh, Help us. Matrix Overload. All friendly units gain 25% movement speed and 50% attack speed. The Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon. What is here? Okay, it's a base. Now, one of the objectives was to destroy all the structures. I can do that. That's why I'm going to try and do that right now. The death fleet descends. Nah, no need to waste powers right now. I'm gonna warp in reinforcements now that I can. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The Great. Is en route to the third lock now. Oh crap, I have to protect it. I'm gonna have to send something here the later. Is proceeding to a canyon ahead. The I destroyer. Numerous surge signatures in that region. Destroyer. You must assist it. Help it. Help it, guys. Help the Megalith. Okay, that's done. Now you can come back. Colossus, come here. We're going to pick those stuff. Crap. Uh, yeah, we're destroying that. Should give us the solar right. Power core has been secured. Good. Warping it aboard now.
Let's warp in reinforcements pile on somewhere that I can over here. There we go. The Megalith is disabling the third lock. And some bung guards. That will do. You you keep making pylons, please. We can actually make a second nexus here. Yeah, let's do that. Expand. Mm-hmm. Not bad. I'm actually going to start making a secondary force over here as well because I want to destroy. I want to check what's around here. Maybe we have more Zerg structures to take down. Okay, yeah, there's more Zerg stuff going on. That's where you're going to come with a second force. There we go. And there's more Zerg structures here. I'll just keep these guys just in case. Gonna make. I must construct additional pylons to do a couple of these. Okay, come help out. Yeah, I've noticed that. I uh, forgot to do more upgrades. All right. Vanguard, let's make some more of these. Probably some air upgrades as well. Okay, we got some expansion going on here. The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. Okay, push in. I'm detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. Destroy the cave. There we go. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Is there another cave here? I don't see one. Purify beam. Cave. Destroy this, destroy this quickly be so we can get the achievement. Yeah, we did it. We're actually gonna destroy these rocks here. Disabling the fourth oh, lock. so it's open already. All right, no problem. Oh my god, that that sentinel stuck. Sorry, maybe I'm gonna have to kill you. All right. Upgrade complete. I actually explore around here. Seismic disturbance detected. I'm actually going to need some guys to come over here. Destroy those Zerg creep tumors. Because I suppose they count as structures. Is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. I think they do count as structures. So I'm going to need that for the achievement. 
Oh shit, I almost forgot the bonus objective here. These guys will protect the megalith, meanwhile. There we go. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. The lock is down and the megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait, I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. Really? Come over here, destroy this tumor. Right, come over here. Not bad. Okay, let's destroy these structures here. And we're almost done. Okay, let's help out our primary force. Protecting the megalith. Upgrade complete. Okay, we got this. Yeah, we got all the achievements. All right, the megalith is there. Mission, ad mission accomplished. We did it. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Call our forces from Endion's surface. We take this battle to Cyprus. Yeah, so we got all the achievements. Really nice. All the Solarite. Get some nice achievements on the way. Yeah, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like and remember to subscribe. Tercio2002 signing out.